Ocean Dead Zones The ocean is an important part of our ecosystem. It produces most of the oxygen that we breathe. It is also very important for our economy, providing food for many people around the globe. That's why ocean dead zones are a serious threat to everyone. Here is everything you need to know about ocean dead zones. Thank you for joining Dynamic Earth Learning today. Our content covers interesting earth science, conservation, and sustainability topics. Visit our website at www.dynamicearthlearning.com for teacher resources, videos, and e-learning courses. What are ocean dead zones? An ocean dead zone is an area of the ocean that does not have enough oxygen to support life. Another word for an ocean dead zone is hypoxia. The ocean becomes hypoxia as oxygen levels fall between 2 millimeters of oxygen per liter of water. All marine life dies or leaves the area in a dead zone. In this way, the area becomes deserted or all life is gone. Ocean dead zones can occur naturally, but often humans cause these dead zones. One big cause comes from nutrients in groundwater and runoff. These nutrients cause too many algae to grow. Eventually, the algae die and decompose, using up the oxygen other life forms need to live. There are dead zones in many parts of the United States. The largest of these is in the northern Gulf of Mexico. Dead zones can also occur in other large bodies of water, such as the Great Lakes. Ocean Dead Zones Facts Ocean dead zones have always existed, but in the 1970s, scientists first began to notice that these dead zones were becoming more widespread. In fact, the number of dead zones in the world has doubled each decade. As of 2008, there were more than 400 dead zones worldwide. The largest dead zone in the world is in the Arabian Sea. It takes up more than 63,700 square miles in the Gulf of Oman. The second largest dead zone is in the Gulf of Mexico, which takes up about 6,000 square miles. Many of these dead zones only occur during a specific season of the year. For example, most of the dead zones in the Gulf of Mexico only occur between the months of May and September. This is because of the use of fertilizers in the American Midwest. Basically, nutrients from the soil run off into the Mississippi River. Ocean Dead Zones Caused by Animal Agriculture Raising animals for meat is a huge business in the U.S. Animal agriculture produces large amounts of fertilizer. Then, any waste ends up as runoff into local rivers. That runoff packs a punch of life-giving nitrogen and phosphorus. Eventually, these nutrients make it to the ocean, where they use up all the oxygen. Once this happens, fish and other marine life forms can no longer live there. The Midwest is a prime location for large farms. Unfortunately, the fertilizer and animal waste from Midwestern agriculture heads straight to the Mississippi River. From there, the river flows into the Gulf of Mexico. In order to produce enough corn to feed all this livestock, farmers need to use a lot of fertilizer. The same nutrients that help the corn to grow also make algae in the ocean. How to prevent dead zones in the ocean There are things that we can do to stop dead zones in the ocean, or at least to keep them from getting any bigger. One example is using less fertilizer in meat farming. If farmers use less fertilizer, this can lessen the amount of harmful runoff. Also, planting cover crops helps to keep nutrients in the soil. Otherwise, water easily washes into the lakes and rivers. Finally, if we plant some trees and shrubs near bodies of water, they can help use some of the fertilizer before it gets into the water. Conservation tillage is another farming practice that prevents dead zones. Farmers reduce soil loss by tilling their fields less often. As the soil becomes more compacted, there will be less runoff. Ocean Dead Zone Solutions Section 404 of the Environmental Protection Agency's Clean Water Act addresses the problem of water pollution in the United States. This law helps us make progress in solving the problem of ocean dead zones. It's also important to work with farmers Scientists can educate farmers to plant cover crops and manage their fertilizer use better. Another important practice is managing floodplains around the Mississippi River. A floodplain is a flat area around a river that protects flooding and provides a habitat for marine life. Floodplains can also stop runoff before it gets to the ocean. Ocean dead zones are a growing problem in the Gulf of Mexico and all over the world. But with thoughtful, sustainable agricultural practices, 
we can bring life back to these areas of our oceans once again. Thank you for joining us today. Consider following Dynamic Earth Learning for more science, conservation, and sustainability topics. And visit our website, dynamicearthlearning.com, for teacher resources, videos, and environmental e-learning courses.